at international organizations and institutions and a couple of examples that came from the panel were the Milan Protocol, which is a, meant to be an international agreement or charter to get people to understand the connection between ending hunger but also ending obesity, fixing things like food waste, making sure that all the food that we're growing isn't going to feed our cows or our cars. But then we, we also brought up the really important sustainable development goals, which are also coming about in 2015, along with the Milan Protocol, which we think of as being a more global-focused, international-focused set of goals to alleviate extreme poverty, but also actually has a lot to do with how we eat in the West, how we behave in the West, because if we don't fix things like our environment here at home, we certainly don't have a chance to really affect change and, and make it easier for people to live. Uh, in, in parts of the developing world. So I think what's really exciting is that there's a lot more energy in these international agreements around fixing things both in the West and in the developing world at the same time.